Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at manipulating the file system. So not a whole lot, but we'll be looking at some basic some basic ways of how we can manipulate file system. But before that, I want to show you a environment variable. If you type dollar profile, it'll tell you where your PowerShell is running from. Like when you start PowerShell, it loads all the existing commands. So for example, when you uh, this is where you can modify what loads into PowerShell as it as it opens because PowerShell doesn't have any uh, recollection of what you already imported. So if you want to import some some modules or libraries, you could do them from here. How? Let's have a look. Let's see what's the contents of this uh, this guy over here. So I have the folder here open. So I'm in Documents and Windows PowerShell, uh, but there's nothing here. If I do that and create a new file so we go ahead and create this file uh, here I can create commands that I want to run as PowerShell loads so that's enough information for now let's uh, let's move on to the next objective that I had in this video so let's get on to working with files so if I want to create a new file I I can do PWD it prints the current working directory or I can also use get location and uh, if I do git alias find str pwd, um, so pwt actually does get get location. That's what it translates to. Uh, so that's a little bit of a refresher from the last video that we saw. Uh, now if I do new item and I want to create a directory, right? Let's say I want to say path. So new item takes a few arguments. Path's one of them. And then I want to say ABC and item type would be directory, right? Uh, it's saying it's confirming that it's created this. So if I do ls, which is um, a Linux command, ls, I don't know if this works. No, it doesn't. So it doesn't take any arguments. Or uh, dar does the same thing. <coughs> it's created this folder, ABC. I'm going to create one more instead of ABC let's say photos right and now if I do LS or DIR there we go so it shows that it's already created uh, two folders now I want to create a new file so I'll use the same command so I want to create it in photos and call it one.jpg right and remove this I could still say item type is file right I could say that or I could just pass it blank so uh, you see the length is zero which means it's got nothing no contents but if I do I do tree so we're here and we've got two folders so if I do dir photos and it shows that right so the file is created now similarly if copy this picture to so I could do copy item right copy takes two arguments a source and a destination uh, backslash one photos backslash two dot jpg and if I do dir dir photos and there we go we got two files uh, we just copied the the other file um, I could also copy uh, the whole folder so I could do copy item, copy item photos to pictures. And if I do uh, DIR, there's now a new folder called pictures. But uh, if I do DIR pictures, there should be nothing in there. So if I do the same thing, but recurse, this is one of the common, common parameters. And I do DIR pictures, now it has uh, oh, sorry pictures has photos and it should also have all the files there's a that's how you can copy files and folders um, but I want to show you something let's say I want to capture the location to get location right and then if I go dollar lock yeah it's just my current folder right but if I do dot drive it gives me which drive um, which 
computer drive it's in, uh, what's the provider, which is a file system, how much space is free, how much space is used, and what's the drive letter, right? And then what's the root of the root of the drive? Yeah. Uh, I could also do path, and they'll give me the exact location of. So when I did lock, and I printed lock, it printed the path as a table. It printed it as a table here, but here it just prints that part as a string. So you can use the output of path by, by using $location.path and use that in scripting, right? So that's a quick tip. Now let's delete some of these folders. So I want to delete the pictures folder. So I can say remove item pictures, right? And then if I do this, it comes up with a prompt. I don't want to see that prompt because I know there's stuff in there. Uh, oops, sorry. Oh, I could say recurse, right? And then it'll delete everything. Uh, if it still complains about something, you could also use force, and that'll, you know, without any confirmation or without waiting for any any actions from you, it'll uh, go ahead and delete delete the folder. Similarly, you also have uh, move and rename item that they follow the same pattern, so I won't cover them because the video has gotten too long at the moment. So uh, this is how you could manipulate the file system. There's one interesting command uh, that I want to use, which is if I've got a file, so I can say notepad abc or new new item abc.txt right and then set content so I'm creating content for it set content uh, what's the name of the file abc.txt right to that file I want to set uh, this is abc right and then I press enter and I say get content abc oops that's a folder txt so I can say this is ABC and now it should say this is ABC now that's how you can use set content and get content to set f con uh, file contents and get them as you need them but if I want to append I could say add content to abc.txt file and I want to say and how you doing right now if I do get content, you see how it's got, this is ABC, but it's also got a new line which has this content right here. That's how you append, so set content replaces what you, what, what you have in the file with what you've passed, but add content appends to that file, right? Very important um, difference. Now let's say, you might be wondering, do I have a clear content? And there is and if I say abc.txt and now do a get content it's got nothing there's nothing in there because it's wiped it clean um, so that's pretty much it we've already seen the dir command and the get location and there's also get child item which is the dir command actually there you go so that's pretty much it. This fundamental to your understanding of working with files in PowerShell. To start a conversation, leave a comment to this video. Hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a video. Don't be a miser. Share it with others.